Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Lala Rink. It's Merrimack taking on St. Lawrence, pair of one and two teams. Both teams were swept uh, last weekend. Merrimack with a 4-1 win over Clarkson here on Friday night. Saints bring it out left to right. Gavars into the offensive zone, shifty move. Gavars to the goal, shot score. Felix Gavars with a little shifty move, some nice footwork there. And he buries the first goal of the game. It comes at 8.45. St. Lawrence with a 1-0 lead. Third goal of the season for Gavars. And you see what happens here. Make that little move there. Skates the, the circle, lifts it up high, and catches Olas. Beats him far corner. A nifty shot by Felix Gavars. Eight. Sophomore for the Saints, and it makes it one to nothing. So again, they weather the storm. And the penalty is up as Nakins. Checked by Jurasevic. Warriors again with a chance. Capone over the line to Devlin O'Brien. He's gone! <laughs> Devlin O'Brien and the Warriors finally break through. It is a 1 1 game. First career goal for Devlin O'Brien, and what a way to score it. Set up on a beautiful play by Matt Capone. As Merrimack looks for the loose puck alongside the near wall. Here's Deneau. They get it down low to Welsher, and a save by Cross. Rebound, Char! Christian Feldman! Merrimack had a lot of puck activity down low. They worked it around to Felton, and at the 133 mark, for the first time today, Merrimack is in the lead. Felton the goal. It's work along the corners there. You see Dano there. Welsher also gets that shot in. Dano's looking around, but Felton, Felton coming in from the point makes the difference. He finally picks up that loose puck to score the goal. St. Lawrence just got caught running around a little bit too much in their own end. Not really too much that Ben Graz could do on that. Looking to make a play. He shoots. That's blocked. Welsher over to Greibel. He's got some room at the far circle. Shot right on. Cross the save. And now a centering pass. Score! The Warriors played it from behind the net. It was a bang, bang play. And Merrimack takes the lead. I believe it will be Greibel who knocked it home. Warriors up by two. Well, you see Greibel starts off here, the defenseman coming in from the point, and he just keeps going right to the net, and he's on the side of the net and able to put in that rebound when it comes over to him. Time of the goal, 7.49. Merrimack has scored three straight goals in this one after falling behind 1-0, and now with a two-goal advantage, a little bit of breathing room. St. Lawrence looking for a transition opportunity. And a nice job by Bookman to get back and break up that play, and he's off to the races. Bookman, he's got Briar in the middle, and Sotera moves in, score! Power play goal for Michael Sotera. And the Warriors have tacked on their fourth goal of the afternoon. Pretty play all around, Mike. It sure was. I think St. Lawrence got caught up ice a little bit there. Needed to get it deeper, but they come back the other way. Merrimack does. Bookman finds Sotero, who's able to get open at the right circle. Fires that shot quickly. It's going to be his first goal as a Warrior. The journey from New Hope, Pennsylvania. We've had a couple of Warriors getting their first goals tonight. Warriors with four third period goals. St. Lawrence will dip to one and three. The Saints will go home next weekend for a couple of non-league games. Merrimack will head down to Northeastern on Saturday for their first league game of the year, and time will expire. So a solid victory here for Merrimack. The Warriors sweep the weekend after knocking off Clarkson here 4-1 to one Friday, Mike. They respond with a 5-2 win here over St. Lawrence.